In this quick video, I'll show you how to find the lowest common denominator. The question reads, find the lowest common denominator in each set. We'll start with question A. We have three fractions, 1 over 8, 1 over 4, and 1 over 6. Now it's important to mention that you can do this in several different ways. So to keep things simple, I'll show you two methods that have always worked for me. And depending on the example, each has advantages over the other. We'll use method 1 for part A. Method 1 involves writing out multiples of each denominator. So you can start by writing out each denominator from lowest to highest. So I have 4, 6, and 8. The next thing that I like to do is write down at least 4 multiples of each. Starting with 4, a multiple of 4 is 4, 8, 12, and 16. Multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, and 24. Multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, and 32. And what you're checking for are commonalities. What numbers are in common in each of these sets? We have a 12 here, 12 here, but no 12 for the 8. So, so far, nothing's in common. Let's continue. Let's write down two more multiples of 4. We end up with 20, 24. For 6, we have 30 and 36. And for 8, 40 and 48. Do you see anything in common now? Well, I do see a 24 in this set, a 24 in this set, and a 24 here. Therefore, the lowest common denominator is 24. And we can denote that as LCD is equal to 24. Now, if you would like to find a common denominator as opposed to the lowest common denominator, all you really have to do is multiply all the denominators together. If you multiply 8 times 4 times 6, you'll end up with, using our calculator, 8 times 4 times 6 is equal to 192. The reason why we find the lowest common denominator as opposed to a common denominator is because 24 is a smaller number, so it's easier to work with than 192. In question B, we have 1 over 2, 1 over 3, and 1 over 16. Now for this example, I'll show you a different method. And I'll explain why I'm showing you this method as opposed to the first one. This method involves writing out 2, 3, and 16, like this. And starting with the smallest possible number that can be divided into any of these is 2. I usually focus on the even denominators first because 2 always divides them perfectly. So I'll write down 2 here. And you'll try to divide each of these by the number 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 3 divided by 2 will give you 1.5. That's a decimal, so we'll just leave it as 3. And 16 divided by 2 is 8. Let's choose another number that can be divided into one of these numbers. I'm thinking 2 again. 2 is divisible by 8. It's 4. Once you reach 1, you just keep writing 1. And 3 divided by 2, we discussed, is 1.5, so we'll leave it as 3. 2 is again divisible by 4, so we'll write down 2, 1, 3, and 2. Once more, 1, 3, and 1. Now that all the even numbers are done, we can move on to the 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And by multiplying 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, we end up with our lowest common denominator. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, 16, 16 times 3 is 48. Our lowest common denominator is equal to 48. The reason why I use this method over the previous one is because given the range between 2 and 16, you might have to write down many multiples of 2 and 3 until you finally reach 48. And I didn't want to spend so much time going back and forth seeing where they are the same. So we can generally say this method is best when the numbers are close together and this method is better when the numbers are more scattered. Finally, in question C, we have 1 over 35, 1 over 19, and 5. 5 is a whole number. Its denominator is 1, so we won't even worry about it. Let's do 35 and 19. And it's up to you which method you would like. I'm going to use the previous method. I'll write down 35 and 19. Both of these numbers are odd. A number that's divisible into 35 is 5. 35 divided by 5 is 7. And 19 divided by 5, that doesn't give you a whole number, so we'll write down 19. A number that's divisible into 7 is 7. That becomes a 1. 
and this stays at 19. A number that's divisible into 19, the only number is 19. This is a 1, this is a 1. We can multiply 5 times 7 times 19 using our calculator. 5 times 7 is 35 times 19 is equal to 665. 665 is the lowest common denominator between 35 and 19. And there you have it. That is how to find the lowest common denominator.